My name is Bob Anderson. I'm a research scientist at the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa, Canada. Bioluminescence occurs in a number of different insect groups. Um, probably the main group that it occurs in are, are the beetles. It also occurs in the flies, as well as some other groups of, of creatures that are related to insects, like millipedes and some scorpions as well. Bioluminescence works usually through a chemical reaction that takes place within a particular organ within an insect body. There's a reaction between an enzyme and another chemical which causes a cold light to appear, which is simply a light that doesn't generate any heat when it's produced. Uh, we really don't know how bioluminescence evolved, but one of the interesting things about the whole idea of bioluminescence is that it appears in very many different unrelated creatures. And because of that, it's probably been developed a number of times throughout the history of life. There's one instance of bioluminescence which has stuck out in my mind and made a real lasting impression on me, and that was in the uh, rainforest in Costa Rica at the La Selva Biology Station. There are these beetles that fly along the trails at night that are bioluminescent. And if you're walking along the trail and you take a flashlight and you cup your hands around the flashlight so that only little parts of the flashlight beam are, are, are showing through, and you move your hand around sort of like this in a very erratic fashion, all these beetles will start to fly towards you and they'll bump into you, land on your clothing and then fall to the ground around your feet and they'll continue to luminesce. And it's almost as if you have done something that has attracted them or, or angered them or something and, and they come to you to see what that is. And I found that particularly fascinating.